Cześć, witam Was bardzo, bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z serii Red Dead Redemption 2. W dzisiejszym odcinku będziemy sobie kontynuować jak zawsze fabułę, więc już proszę Ci się wygodnie i zapraszam Was do oglądania. Hal ma kurde blizn na tej twarzy, naprawdę. Dość potężny. O, zobaczcie, zastrzybiłem sobie fotel. Ale widzicie, no kopiłem sobie nowy fotel kilka miesięcy temu i zobaczcie, kurde, już skrzypnie masakra. Idę, idę. We try to collect that money anytime soon. You come with a noose. It's worried you'd say that. Dutch says that. Well, Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh yeah. What do you mean by that? I was surprised only once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But. But well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. You already seen Pinkerton's here. No właśnie, dwudziesty wiek, wiek wojen i to dwóch światowych. Dawaj koniku, spokojnie, spokojnie. Nie ma sprawy. W ogóle nam naprawdę dużo widzę podobieństw do GTA V, to na, naprawdę dużo. Taka jakby kopia fabuły GTA V, tylko że w innych czasach z innymi bohaterami i trochę innym motywem. Ale większość jest naprawdę prawie taka sama. Ciśniemy, Don, ciśniemy. Let's head up to the ridge 
up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Posso vedere la scenografia. Ehm trovo da solo. Andate là. Let's see what we can see from up here. No, nie gadaj. Nie ma sprawy. Czy ja mu zdałem kapelusz? Chyba tak. Nie gadaj. No i kurde misja. Z owcami. Jak ja nie robię takich misji, naprawdę. Będę się męczył. Dosada, dosada. Dosada. Jest tam jedna zagubana duszyczka. Dawaj oveczko, dawaj. I jakoś to idzie sprawnie. Żebym nie wykrakał, bo może pójść jeszcze gorzej. Przyjemna misja. No, tematyczna. W ogóle fabuła RDD jest klimatyczna. Naprawdę klimatyczna. To straszne. Dawaj.
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Oh, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less. Dobrze, udało się jakoś bez większych problemów. Co ty gadasz? No właśnie, bez nerwów. W sumie to mi przypomina misję z Lamarem, co mieli zgarnąć kilkanaście tysięcy, a zgarnęli gówno. Naprawdę jest dużo podobieństw. Gdy ktoś gra w GTA, no to wie naprawdę dużo. A może bym nagrał po było GTA? W sumie, to czemu by nie? Może nagram, no chyba nagram. Wiecie? Chyba to zrobię. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Are you coming then? Not every. But that's you, sir. I don't believe in absolutes. Just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man. Gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And we're just waiting to get some pay. Um. If you sheep, Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well... I guess the Dutch Banderlin finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good help. Thank you. Sprawdziłem w sumie później w historii, czy Banderlin był faktycznie taki gang jak Banderlin. Oh, that bench is a demo Valentine. Kolejna strzelanina. To? Dobrze, dostał.
No to jest kurde, pod tym jest chyba misji na marę, naprawdę. O nie. Też miało być wszystko dobrze. A jednak, kurde, ktoś wdymał. I rozpętało się strzelanina. No, tak jak zawsze. Tak jest, kurde, zawsze. Prosto w oczko. Co jest, mogę go trafić, no. Dostał. To dostaje, dostaje, dostaje. No szkurde, no zginąłem. Ale czemu oni jedzą tym powodzem, idioci? I ja muszę wszystko za nich robić, no. Dostał kulkę. Niedobrze. Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs>
Ten dany jest już kurwa Nieźle. Z misji na misję jest coraz bardziej skończony. To mi się podoba. Takie smaczki. heading east is that the plan for now and when do we stop when we reach paris oh that'd be nice join the commune so we moving yeah we stop when we find some place sensible shake them that's following us and lie low this is lying low we turned into a bunch of killers i mean it we ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers we are just trying to survive hosea we don't have a choice this will end soon Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Easy. We ain't got time to mess around. Get back on the horn. So... Are we right in there? So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Arthur. Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. 
Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure it'll be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. You don't shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Ah. You really have to do that? He don't need it now. You see there? Tent. And a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Yep. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, ma'am. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So... What happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you asked me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continues along the shore here. So like you were saying before. The bastards told me they'd killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah. Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. 
But he has more folks looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Yep. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Hold up. Let me check this. carry on along this trail like I was talking about when Jack was real young a long while year he did and we was family you know guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that hey quiet now there's a camp up ahead be careful seems deserted let's take a look ha! Slow. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick. Put him free. <laughs> Three coming right at us! What the heck? What do you think you're doing? Them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Come on, he looks in some pain there. Help me, dear. Bitte, lass uns mich gehen. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Yep. Also soll ich mitkommen?
Wo bringen Sie mich hin? The hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Are you gonna do the right thing by Abigail? Oh, don't How you are you today, to. Arthur? Ain't fair on her or the boy. You ain't so high and mighty, Abigail Roberts. Oh, don't start. You must be nervous being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. 
Good day, Mr. Morgan. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. Yes. Everything okay? Yeah. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant complaining, my table awaits your offering, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Good job, Mr. Morgan. All right, that's lighting my load. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them wet.